Hi there, thanks for joining me today. Oh, I've got a little treat. I like my little treats. What do you reckon to this? <laughs> do you know what? This is one of those things. You, you've all been there. You go on your Amazon and something pops up in the box and you go, oh, I like the look of that. You know, the suggested products and stuff. Now, I've been speaking about a new fuel can, thinking I could do with a new fuel can for topping the generator up, the mower and stuff. Fed up with the conventional fuel can and the pipe you know the dreaded filler pipe you put it in there you tip your petrol out the stench the stink oh god's sake look at that oh it's not good and it's a mess it's always a bit tricky and if you try and pour this without taking or without putting the pipe on there you know you spill it it's never good it's never good so i just thought there's got to be a better way there's got to be something and I was looking at the metal jerry cans. Now, I've got big 20-litre jerry cans um, that I've had for ages with the nozzle. Again, they're messy. They spill. They drip. They're not very good. And then this thing popped up on my Amazon feed. <sighs> they're listening. They know what you're looking at. They're just These things happen, don't they? Well, what, what do you think? I mean, the first time I saw it, I thought, what is that? It looks good, but it's a bit of a funny-looking contraption. Now it's slightly bigger than the five litre. It says it's a six litre, but it's massive, isn't it? I mean, look at the difference. Five litre, six litre, this looks like. But we'll see, we'll see how much it holds. Um, but the most interesting thing for, uh, is the little nozzle there flicks round. You tip it up, you've got on the top here, a button you press and the, the fuel will come out. So it's like a dosed, measured flow through the tank. So it should come out really nicely. Not like, you know, glug, 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 and all the bloody stuff's going everywhere. Nightmare. I'm hoping, I mean, I don't know because I haven't tried it. But when I saw it and I saw the design, I'm thinking, yeah, I can see that this is going to have a, the air is going to flow from the top through. It's going to be a nice, even flow out the bottom. So... It's not cheap, 38 quid. But if it works, I, I think it's a fair price if it works. It's really well made. It's, it's solid. It is absolutely sturdy as you like. I mean, it's got nothing in it at the minute, but the actual, I can't squeeze it. It is absolutely solid. Um, it's called the Birch Miser <laughs> or Birch Miser. Oh my God. Birch Mere. So it's called the Birch Mere Rapid on Six. Um, you fill it from this one here. So you take that off, you fill it from the side. And then you've got this, you close it down. It's away, no smells or anything. They've got a very short pipe there. So it's gonna be very little sort of fluid left in it. Whereas the other one, this big old thing, it, you know, fuel gets left in there and it stinks forever. Um, so yeah, when it's down, it locks it, it closes the valve off unlock and then away we go shall we fill it up and see how we get on i'll put links in the description for one of these if you're interested if you think like me and it looks pretty good um and it does work well we'll try it then yeah go fill your boots and uh, grab old one from your link and that helps me out no end so um let's fill it up and see how we get on <laughs> right here we go so we've got the fuel can and I'll just show, I mean, you've obviously all used one of these, but I'll show you what I mean, how bloody horrible they are to use. So let's pop the lid off of that. And I'll take the lid off this. This is petrol. I know it's a black can, but it's got petrol in it. So we screw that on there. And the threads are always a little bit iffy anyway. And then, you know, we go for the pour. And it's just, I mean, look how it comes out there. It's just slow. It's just really really sluggish and if you turn it you know it starts to do some strange old things as well this is absolutely full you see that now look at it glugging and glurking looking making a <laughs> we could be here a while and this is the thing i mean i hope this new one comes out a lot quicker than this one because these are really really slow it's a five litre can but my word it takes forever takes forever to get the uh, get the petrol out of it 
I'm thinking the six liters as well is gonna be fantastic. Just that little bit extra. Now, I mean, it's like I was saying about the, um, when you take the spout off and you try and pour it, you know when you're trying to put it in your mower and you're trying to do it from the can like that, you've got to get it dead right, you know, otherwise you get it everywhere. I mean, into here's not so bad. I can pour it in there now. That's that's quite nice. But it just doesn't work like that when I'm trying to get it into the into the generator or into the mower. Right, so there we go. That is five litres. That's his six there. So we have definitely got a bit more to go. Yeah, that's that's the six litre mark there. And we're not quite there. That uh, that uh, that was full, but it was proper full. So probably that held slightly more than five. And we'll go just a little bit more when I'm at the petrol pump. Let's pop the lid back on that. Okay, we need something to put it into. Let's go and uh, grab a generator. Okay, okay. Right, here we go. I've got the magical Honda Jenner. It's just an absolute gem. But putting fuel in it, it's right in the top and it's in the middle. It's got, you can't get to it with the cans from the side. So when you're trying to do it like that, you can't go for the, the pour because it clogs out and ends up going over the body. So um, you have to put the spout on it. You know, you have, we have to put the spout on this one. Which then, like I showed you a minute ago, it makes it really, really slow when you're pouring it in, it's a really slow pour. So, what's this new one gonna be like? Let's give it a go. Oh my word. Right, so we flip the nozzle around, then we pull, and straight away, I hear air. So, as soon as I flip that round, air is coming there. Ooh, so that means the valve's released. So, what happens when I go to pour it? Does it come straight out? No, no spillage. Okay. Let me make you, I can't, let me get you a bit better, a bit better view in there. Let's just go up a tiny bit there. Right. Okay, so we tip it up. Nothing's coming out at the minute. I then press the button on the top. Can we see that? Oh my God. Whoa, look at the rate that comes out of there. Oh, oh my word. Look at it go. That is amazing. So I've stopped. It's clean. <laughs> How good's that? <laughs> that is unbelievable. Wow, the speed it came out of there. That, that, well, that nearly cleared the five litres, didn't it? Let's uh, let's go for it. I'm going to go for a foot. I'm going to use the whole lot. I'm putting the whole lot in. Let's see how quick we can take down the rest of this fuel. Bang. Could it go? That is ripping, isn't it? No glugging, no mess, no spray. It's almost done it. It's almost took the whole six, well, five litres, wasn't it? It's almost took the whole five litres. Done. That was fast. That was really fast. And then, obviously, when we're done, we flick the nozzle back round on the end there. Flick that one back round there. I fill it up again. That's really impressive. That's really impressive. <laughs> Yeah, well, what can I say? It works. Um, there's no spillage, there's no mess, there's no dripping. It's nice and clean around the tank. Um, I think I've just got to uh, fill it up and go again. I'm impressed with that. And the beauty of it is it doesn't take up too much space. It's not, um, it's not a huge bulky thing, you know, like a, a 10 litre little mini jerry can with an extra nozzle on the end of it. It's, it's quite a large high thing. Um, it's gonna take up a lot of space. 
we're going to store this in the van um you know obviously when we need it for emergencies and stuff so that is going to work really really well well impressed right and so as a comparison here i've got another full can five liters of fuel let's go with the conventional nozzle i'll take it off for that one we'll put it on this one and let's see how long it takes to get that into the tank. Are you ready? Here we go. And you can see I'm faffing already. Look, trying to get it in so it don't spill it. It's not the easiest to do. And the rate it's coming out at, look, it's poor. Because obviously there's no air return on it you know the air is really struggling to get back in through the can whereas the other one the rapid on has got that that flow valve on it Oh, God's sake, look at that. What a gobbo, messy, bloody thing that is. I should have had it in a bit more, but I want to show you on the camera. But there you go. It just shows you what you get with this glugs and messy, horrible thing. So, uh, but yeah, I don't know how long that took, but we'll uh, work it out off the camera footage. Um, well impressed with this bit of kit. Fantastic. <laughs> so that was well impressive, wasn't it? Also, this has got a couple of safety features on it. It's got a valve in the end of the nozzle. So once the nozzle is closed, that shuts off the fuel as well. But also, when it's in the closed position, that won't release. So it won't allow any fuel out until you open the spout, then the button works. So got a couple of little gizmos in there a couple of gadgets that keep it all nice and safe and secure and when that's locked into position there it pulls that valve back as well and puts a lock on that one so you get no venting so you've got a vent lock on that side and also a trigger lock keeps it all nice and tidy and all nice and neat no leaks and spillages like i say i'm well impressed with that what a fantastic bit of kit it's a bit pricey but you know We'll crack on with it give it a go if i get any problems any issues with it i'll be the first to let you know so um this is going to get a lot of use we use a lot of fuel and uh yeah we'll uh, keep you uh, keep you informed as to how it works and how we're getting on with it if you enjoyed the video if it's helped you out in any way if you're thinking about something similar or if you've seen this and you go yeah that's a good idea then uh, drop us some comments and uh, like and subscribe thanks for watching